This is the season for squash, winter squash, preferably acorn squash, butternut squash. You're going to see them in your grocery stores and farmer's market. And today I take acorn squash and prepare it really simply with just a few ingredients, whip it together for the ultimate side dish. Hey guys, I'm Shereen with Cook This. So first, before we get started, so I wanna show you what I found in the grocery store. Looks like an acorn squash as well. Well, actually they refer to this as a graffiti or a carnival squash. So kinda of cool if you find this in your grocery store or farmer's market. Definitely prepare it the same way that we are doing today, but I'm going to start and roast our acorn squash, the traditional one. So the reason why they call it an acorn squash is simply because it looks like an acorn. It is your winter uh, squash, and but you're gonna see it through the fall season, all in your grocery stores and farmer's markets. And this is the time to really just dive in and prepare this really simply. So first thing I'm gonna do is have it, and you can see I'm, I need a little elbow grease in here, but you wanna be really careful. You don't wanna cut yourself. So make sure you have a nice flat surface and then just cut straight down, just like that. And now we're just gonna gut it, remove the strings, remove the seeds. Now, could you roast these seeds? I never did but they certainly smell and look like pumpkin seeds. I say give it a whirl, let me know what happens. Roast them in the oven, dry them out, put a little salt on them. They, they've gotta be delicious, right? And it brings you back to your childhood. Remember as a kid, it was around the Halloween time and your mom would be roasting those pumpkin seeds in the oven because you were getting ready to carve those jack-o'-lanterns. Great memories. I like to roast it into wedges. So I'm just going to create four wedges on one half and four wedges on the other half, place it onto my lined, parchment lined sheet tray, and then season it with salt and pepper and a little bit of oil. I've already heated my oven to 400 degrees. We're gonna roast it till it's fork tender, about 35 to 40 minutes. So our acorn squash is perfectly roasted, so I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit just until we can actually touch it, it's not too, too hot, and remove the skin. So I have my perfectly caramelized and tender acorn squash into the food processor. Along with that, we're gonna add some brown sugar. So that's light brown sugar, some cinnamon, and butter, so just a little bit of butter. Just a touch of pepper, and then we're gonna whip it together, but we don't want it too whipped. We don't want to create baby food. We almost want it to have like a chunky, smooth texture. So we're going to pulse it a few times. So the key here is to get all those ingredients mixed together and get the perfect texture. So it comes together really quick. See that? And then you just want to taste it to make sure we have the right seasoning. This is beautiful. I'm just gonna pulse it a few more times. I really wanna incorporate that cinnamon. So the cinnamon just gives it a nice warm flavor, reminiscent of the fall season and winter season. It's ideal. And that sweetness from the brown sugar is just perfect. Okay, that's enough. We don't want baby food. <laughs> And over the weekend, I actually made this recipe. Actually, I geared my menu around this recipe because I was having my girlfriend Barbie over for dinner. It was her birthday, I wanted to treat her. And this was the starter, creating my menu for that dinner. And it paired beautifully with a pork loin roast, bone in. So, so delicious. You could pair it with chicken, fish. Look at that. All 
nice. And this is how I like to finish it, with just some cracked black pepper right on top. It is warm, it's festive, it's perfect for fall. And don't forget that pork, it pairs flawlessly with it. For this recipe, go to the newspaper's website and visit me on Facebook and Twitter for more culinary tips. I'm Shreem Cook This. Thanks for watching. See you next week.